Alright, so I'm doing a challenge trying to platinum every single game inside of the Ubisoft Plus game catalog on PlayStation. And if I can't do it before we hit 690,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I have to tattoo the platinum logo somewhere on my body. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Bruh. Also, I did remove all of the games on the list that don't have platinums and some of the random games because most are just stupid. But I did add numerous new ones that weren't on there previously, which are all also Ubisoft games. Anyways, to choose the game today, I spun a wheel. Oh, f off i'm not doing monopoly all right so monopoly has a total of 29 trophies inside including the platinum and nearly every single trophy is all about the bonus aspects of the game where it's basically complete luck to get so this is gonna be a fun day when you first open the game it asks if you want to play tutorial on what to do and i obviously said yes because i've actually never once played monopoly in my entire life i also did plug in a second controller because many trophies are much much easier using two at once but i ended up getting my first trophy almost right away in the tutorial from winning my first auction on a house. That might have been the hardest thing I've ever done if I'm being honest. Stop the cap. <laughs> I then continued on with the tutorial for a hot minute until the game sort of let us free and there was like an actual match kind of going on. At some point during this match I also got my first power up that I used to steal someone's property with and the thief trophy popped because of that. Later on in this same tutorial match I also smashed someone's house down with a bulldozer and received the construction worker trophy in return. Anyways that was it for all the trophies I got during the tutorial so I just played out the rest of it because I doubt you could leave that. But then I started my first real level in the game and was already great riding through some trophies right away. I decided to first go after the mule trophy because it is one of the most clear and obvious trophies in the game. All you gotta do is have $100 and also max energy and water. So I just went around gathering all of those things and when I had enough, the trophy popped. And there wasn't really much else I could do in this level because most trophies you need to really set up. So I just played it out normally and received a trophy at the ending for finishing a match that was five minutes of length. I then decided to see if I could cheese like three trophies at once to really speed up this game's trophy list. The quote unquote hardest trophy in the Monopoly Madness game is called Tiebreaker, and it's mostly because you and an opponent have to have the exact same amount of properties, yet you have more money and win. An easy cheese to do this, however, is to just plug in a second controller and then don't buy anything with either people. So I did that. And I also set a custom hat on my character for another trophy from winning with a custom hat. And finally, I made the match last 15 minutes long. So at the conclusion of it, I did indeed receive three trophies at once. God, I'm shocked by my genius sometimes. The next trophy I got was then from using this bird power up and shooting it at two enemies at once. So I made a match have six people in it, and then once I found the power up, I just shot randomly, and since there are so many people, I guess I hit two of them nearby for a trophy. I then replayed with six people again since I left the last match for whatever reason. And if you complete a match with six people, you get the full party trophy. Also, I don't know if it was me or the second controller player, but one of us got attacked the most and the goat trophy popped at the ending, which is also the first bonus I received in the game, I'm pretty sure. And that is also all the miscellaneous trophies now done. So now it's time for the majority grind of this platinum trophy the bonuses each match when doing certain actions bonuses can be awarded to you or other players like for example spending the most money or for hitting the most people pretty much just things like that but it gets very annoying when some require you to do other activities to get it yet the other bonuses get awarded which is where the very big factor of luck comes into hand i hate rng games so this was not fun at all and the first bonus i initially was going for was called master painter which is awarded to the player who gets the most property in the match. But even though I clearly got more than the orange second controller player, the game decided to award me with the big spender trophy instead. Now I have no clue why, but this one is just for spending the most money, obviously. So already we are getting unlucky. This is lots of fun. Thankfully though, I did end up getting the master painter bonus on the very next try, which was extremely lucky because it could have just awarded me with the big spender bonus again, since I did nothing different at all. I then decided to try and get the ripped off trophy next because it was the next one on the list. This one, however, is awarded to the player who loses the most property in a match, and it's suggested to do this on the night maps to get the UFO power up more and also so you can avoid other bonuses being activated. Yeah, that didn't work because after my first try, I got a random bonus called Power Up Champion for gathering the most power ups, which I guess is valid because I had to get a lot to even have a chance at receiving the UFO one, but come on, still. Oh, and yeah, the game also froze and broke after that match, so 
W Monopoly developers, this truly is a Unity game at the end of the day. Anyways, I tried again once I relaunched the game and was even more unsuccessful with my actions because apparently the only bonus awarded was one for acquiring the most property when I have been trying my hardest to take away property. I seriously don't get this game, man. And then on the next try, I sort of gave up with the UFO strategy because that power up literally never spawns in and it pisses me off. So I just began to auction off houses like I normally would, which is why the auctioneer bonus got awarded and nothing else. My disappointment isn't even immeasurable anymore, I just always am. Also, I'm starting to think this game was messing with me because I tried again and got a totally random trophy called Bulldog for getting the Bulldog bonus, which I wasn't even aware existed. By the way, it's again from just auctioning houses. I swear to God, half the bonuses in this game are the same damn thing. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, I had reached my breaking point already with the RNG in the game, so I decided to just go back to the C level and also put an actual AI in play instead of the stagnant second controller so it would make the game run more smooth or normal. Apparently, I'm a genius for that idea though because it worked perfectly and I got not only the ripped off bonus for a trophy, which I have been after for forever, but also some other random bonus tacked on that I have yet to get. So two total trophies after an hour of failure. Absolutely splendid if I do say so for myself. I then went after the bonus called Dylan, which is from attacking enemies or something. And this one was another weird one because I did the method that was suggested and zero bonuses got awarded. So that's kind of tragic. And I did the same method again during the next match. And it also didn't work at all, so I have now concluded that it's a scam. But then I played against the real AI and did the same thing yet again and received the sitting duck bonus, so not quite the villain bonus, but hey, it's something. Also, those two bonuses are nearly identical yet again, and I seriously hate this game right now. I also decided to take a break from going after that villain trophy because it was just not working at all as you can tell. So I did an easy one called High Voltage which just requires you to gather a bunch of power and then be the person who has the most in the game. So again I just plugged in my second controller and maxed out the power meter then sat there for 4 minutes. And luckily enough the trophy and bonus did indeed work first try. A huge shock I know. And since that was so simple I said hey why not just do the same method but with water and get the mermaid trophy bonus while we were here. So I literally did the same thing. Grab some water, then wait. And somehow, some way, the damn go-getter bonus got awarded for moving the most mileage in the game even though I just sat still the whole time. Monopoly Madness is trash. I hate it. So I tried that method again and it again didn't work. In fact, I went a few rounds with zero bonuses at all and then I finally got one again. But it was just for not moving. I, th I think this game is broken. I also then played for 45 more minutes trying to get both the water trophy and also some others. But I just kept on not receiving bonuses because the game is actually RNG as hell and I'm almost thinking this shit is impossible. But eventually I did get some bonus for renovations finally so... Hey, it's something. I then just kept going after the last few bonuses and apparently got one for using the bulldozer the most. I actually don't get this game. And then there was only three left. Just so you know, each of these last bonuses took me an hour of playtime each to get. Which is insane considering this is a 5 hour platinum. I am literally the most unlucky person ever. But the first two weren't that bad, at least not when comparing them both to the final trophy I needed. Mermaid. Yes, it's still the same damn one from earlier with the water collection. And I'm not sure why or how this game counts or doesn't count resource collection, but this trophy should have popped hours ago because it is literally the same as the power one that I got first try. Anyways, I sat here for an hour straight just collecting water and waiting for the round to end to see if I got the bonus or not. And I obviously didn't get it very often. In fact, I had to even change my method and begin buying homes and filling them with water to try and enhance my chances of getting more water so the game would hopefully realize it and give me the damn bonus. Overall, it's a horribly RNG based system to get this power up and I would not recommend this game to a friend but I did get the trophy finally and I only cried a few tears of joy so yeah there it is with the platinum right after Monopoly Madness is my 13th reason why